Welcome training campers. In this simulation module, you will learn how to operate a provision cooling system or refrigeration system on board ship. For this demonstration, I will use a Transas Marine Refrigeration Plant Simulator for quick familiarization. The automatic provision cooling system is intended for creating and maintaining the set temperature conditions for the storage of food in these groups of provision stores. The following components are included in the system and modeled in the simulator. Provision stores as a thermodynamic object, refrigeration plants number one and two, gas liquid lines with valves as hydro and gas dynamic objects, and a cooling seawater pump. The first group includes three provision store rooms for the storage of frozen foods. Butter chamber is used for storage of butter and other similar products at a temperature of negative 2 degrees centigrade. Meat chamber is used for storage of meat products at a temperature of minus 15 degrees centigrade. And fish chamber is used for storage of fish products at a temperature of minus 15 degrees centigrade. The other group includes three provision storerooms for storage of chilled food. Fruit chamber is for storage of fruit products at a temperature of plus 2 degrees centigrade. Vegetable chamber is for storage of vegetable products at a temperature of plus 2 degrees centigrade. Dry provision chamber is for storage of dry provision at a temperature of plus 8 degrees centigrade. Each of the refrigeration plants operates for its group of consumers. However, the refrigeration performance of each refrigerator is sufficient for the supply of both store groups if required. The control panel located at the right-hand part of the screen page contains the following groups. Control of seawater supply, control of pipeline cutoff valves, control of compressors, and control of provision storerooms. And now, let's try to operate and put into service the provision or refrigeration cooling system simulator. Procedure for starting the provision plant cooling system. Let's acknowledge first the alarm on the alarm station. Proceed back to the provision plant cooling system page. We turn on the seawater pump. Monitor the pressure gauge. We adjust the condenser set point to 3 bars. Same goes with compressor number 2. After that, see to it that the compressor is in manual mode. And then, we open the shutoff valves on the liquid refrigerant circulation lines. That is the condenser shutoff, filter, and the master solenoid valve. Then we turn on the compressor. Open at least 5 to 10 percent suction valve, and you monitor the pressure reading on the suction pressure gauge. Then gradually adjust the suction valve up to fully open. If there's any alarms, let's acknowledge it. Once you have uh, fully opened the suction valve, you could now set the compressor mode to auto running condition. Same goes when you start the compressor number two. We open the liquid Refrigerant circulation lines, just a filter, condenser, master solenoid, and then start the compressor. Then gradually open the suction valve. By the way, do not forget to check the doors. If the doors are open, you close it. Like for example, the vegetable chamber is open, so you close the door. Same goes with the dry provision, including the fruit chamber. So, we go back to the compressor number 2. We grab the open, again the suction valve, until we reach the 
desire fully open state which is at 100% once you have opened this suction valve to 100% you could now change over to auto running mode then you have to wait until all of the alarms have been rectified to monitor the temperature of each chamber you could visit the thermometer readings here that is for the butter this is for the meat room this is for the fish room this is for the fruit vegetables and the dry provision if the refrigeration plant is expected to operate at its own group of storerooms only the shut-off valves on the connecting gas and liquid pipelines are closed so all we have to do is wait until all of the alarms have been rectified once you have run all the system parameters verify that everything is in normal condition and then do not forget to set the time intervals in in hours at which the frosting of the refrigeration equipment will be performed in each cooling space like for example here we have the dry provision stores timer is set at uh, 1000 hours so you set to auto defroster mode same goes with the vegetable same goes with the fruit chamber fish room meat room and butter room the defroster switches are set to auto running mode now we have to wait until all of the alarms have been rectified so we only have the food chamber so no more alarms in the provision plant cooling system so that's the end of my simulation on operating the provision cooling system by the way campers do not forget to subscribe and comment on the channel so you will be updated for more maritime education and training simulation video content.